Hey, welcome back. I hope you rested up this weekend and came back ready to work. You should have also taken your progress pictures and compared them to your previous pictures. You also may have posted them on BodySpace so you can keep track of everything you're doing. Now this week, our workouts consist of five sets of four to six reps. Again, we're getting into the really heavy weeks of the program. And you want to look back at your workout log before we get started this week, and you want to look back at week four. Your goal this week is to beat your numbers from week four. So today's your upper body workout. Let's head over to the gym. We have five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and then it's time for the iron. I'll meet you over there. All right, good to see you over here. You should have already performed your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, so we're gonna jump right into the weight training portion of the workout. The first exercise for today is the bench press. You're gonna start with your two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now this week, we're doing five sets of four to six reps. This means you should be able to complete at least four reps, but no more than six reps. If you can complete more than six reps, you need to increase the weight for the next set. If you can't complete four reps, then the weight is too heavy and you need to decrease it for the next set. We're starting to reach the really heavy part in this program again. Now that you've completed your two warm-up sets, you must move on to your five sets of four to six reps. Five sets of four to six reps is going to be very challenging, so be sure to stay focused throughout the entire workout. This is week 10, so your form on bench press should be about perfect by now. If you don't feel like your form is perfect yet, be sure to watch what Rob is doing and follow his example. After this workout, there's only two more Monday workouts left, so be sure to give it your all throughout this entire workout. All right, you completed your five sets of four to six reps, so let's put all the weights back and record your performance in your workout journal. This week, we're gonna compare your performance to week four. Your goal during week 10 is to beat week four's performance. Our next exercise for today is the bent over row. The bent over row is a heavy compound exercise that targets the back. Start off with your two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now that your warm up sets are completed, add weight to the bar and get ready for your five sets of four to six reps. Again, five sets is going to be hard, but you need to push through it. Our third exercise for today is the military press for the shoulders. The military press allows you to heavily overload your shoulders as it's a compound movement. A compound movement is an exercise that involves multiple joints, while an isolation movement is an exercise that involves only one joint. With the military press, you're moving at both the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. Let's start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now that you've completed your warm-up sets, let's add some weight to the bar and start in on your five sets of four to six reps. Be sure to maintain proper form throughout these heavy sets. When you're training heavy, using bad form can lead to injury. And as you know, we really stress injury prevention in this program. The fourth exercise in today's workout is the barbell shrug for the traps. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. You should be able to go pretty heavy on this exercise, but make sure you can handle the weight with proper form. There's no point in loading up the bar and using improper form. Using improper form on the barbell shrugs takes the tension off of the traps. Once you complete your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps, let's add some weight and move on to our five sets of four to six reps. The fifth exercise for today is the cold grip bench press for the triceps. Again, since we're going heavy this week, it's vital that you use proper form. Let's start off the cold grip bench press with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm-up sets, let's start into your five sets of four to six reps. Focus on keeping your elbows close to your side during each and every rep. Doing this ensures that you fully stimulate the triceps. Our final exercise of the day is the barbell curls for the biceps. Since the barbell curls are a single joint movement, you really need to focus on using proper form. When going heavy on a single joint movement, using proper form is essential to injury prevention. Let's start off with your two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now that you've completed your two warm up sets, let's add some weight to the bar. And remember, use proper form during these five sets of four to six reps. The barbell curl is the king of exercises when it comes to building up big biceps. Oftentimes, this will lead to people using too much weight and improper form. Since we know the barbell curl is so important to bicep development, we're gonna focus on using a weight we can handle and proper form. All right, you finished up today's workout. Let's take a look back at your workout journal and compare your performance from this week, week 10, to your performance from week four. Your goal was to beat your performance on week four. Let's see if you accomplished your goal. If you accomplished your goal, great. Keep doing what you're doing for the rest of this week. If you didn't accomplish your goal, you need to really focus and increase your intensity for the rest of the week. In order to grow, you need to push yourself harder each and every workout. Now that we're done with the weight training portion of the workout, you need to do your post-workout stretching. Be sure to stretch your chest, back, shoulders, traps, triceps, and biceps. Once you're finished with your stretching, let's head back over to my office and we'll discuss today. I'll see you back in my office. Good workout today. 
I can tell you got plenty of rest and recovery time this weekend because you were strong on every lift. You beat week four's numbers, and that was our goal for the workout. Now I want you to go home today, get all of your meals in, rest up, and come ready to work hard tomorrow because that's your first lower body workout of the week. See you tomorrow.